Is this your first time doing something like this? Yes. Me too. I'm Cameron. My wife and I have five kids. We live in Brooklyn, and we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, often known as Mormons. I'm Kelsey. I'm from Indiana. I am child-free, I'm bisexual, and I'm the oldest of five children. What do you think of people with large families? Oh gosh, that's kind of a loaded question. Honestly, I think it's kind of irresponsible. I think about it in terms of like climate change and the effect that the number of people on this planet are affecting it. Right. My wife and I have five kids. I don't feel like there's anything else that's more engaging than being with my kids. There's no show I could go see. There's no, you know, project that I could work on that would be better than spending time with them. According to a Business Insider poll, nearly 30% of young adults believe that you should consider climate change before deciding to have children. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I believe that climate change is a real thing, mm -hmm. but I also feel like, I mean, if, 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 we're doing, if we're doing math here and people are having fewer kids, couldn't I have as many as I want then? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I haven't, I haven't. There actually are websites that, that keep track of how many births, like by the second, uh -huh. versus how many people have died per second, and then tracks the population growth, and it's frightening, honestly. There have been studies that show that the best way to reduce a carbon footprint is to not really have children or have fewer children. What made you decide not to have kids and when? I didn't really like other kids when I was a kid. I've always kind of been an old woman on the inside. <laughs> I wanted to sit at home in silence and read a book and drink tea with my cats. Kids annoyed me from very, very early on. Kids can be really annoying. They really can. <laughs> um, I actually first started asking for permanent birth control when I turned 18. And I didn't get sterilized until last year when I was 29. So it took me 11 years to find a doctor who would take me seriously. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Made my grandma very upset. <laughs> Is she the most upset by it, you think? Um, I would say so. She gave me some speech about how God put women on the planet to be wives and mothers, and I was like, yeah, I'm an atheist, so. For me, having a religious perspective on um, having kids I think that's, that's the biggest kind of influence, biggest kind of denominator. We are all spirit children mm -hmm. of God. Part of his plan for us to progress spiritually involves coming here and gaining a physical body. I believe that I'm, I'm helping to give some of my brothers and sisters that opportunity and that denying them that would be more detrimental than the climate change that's happening now. Next question. All right. One of my fears when I was younger was getting accidentally pregnant. How do you feel about abortion? There are certainly instances where abortion should be considered, rape or incest, or if a, uh, a mother's health is compromised. Mm -hmm. But for me, as a society, we could do a much better job helping women with unwanted pregnancies to feel like they can have the child and it can have a good life so that there but, doesn't have to be the not same. not necessarily though. I mean, adoption isn't always the answer because it's one more child out of how many are already in the system that don't have homes. I understand that. But I also feel like there is such a value on a human life. I, I honestly cannot imagine how horrifying that would be to force someone to be pregnant if they don't want to be pregnant. For me personally, yeah. I couldn't imagine bringing a child into a planet that we could potentially kill in the next 30, 50 years. Even if that child could possibly help save it? 
I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult question because, I mean, yes, the, that child could save the planet. But, I mean, I don't think just one person can change everything. It's going to take everyone working together, and that's... I think the biggest problem right now, especially in this country, is getting people to work together. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Do you tell everyone you don't want kids? If they ask, yes. You kind of have to be careful about the audience mm -hmm. around you when you say things. What most people in Indiana do is like they graduate high school, they get married, and they have babies. The, the, the pressure, it's monumental. I cannot tell you how many people have said, oh, do you have kids? And I say, no. And then immediately it's, well, why don't you have kids? Kids are amazing. You should be doing this. You're wasting your life if you don't have kids. It's just a, a constant onslaught right. of people judging my life from the outside, and they know nothing about me. Uh, yeah, I, I think my wife and I deal with that on a different level mm -hmm. here in New York, where having five kids is mm -hmm. uh, more of an anomaly. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the first things people want to know is, are you going to have any more? Mm -hmm. As if, like, they need to brace themselves and be ready for mm -hmm. however many more we're going to have. And then a lot of times people are like, oh, God bless you. And <laughs> he does. I was in a situation where somebody just, like, straight out of the blue just introduced me. Like, he said, this is Cameron. He has five kids. And the woman reacted in such a way. I, I did. I got a little offended because she just kind of, like, was like, uh, okay. Right, in that's, that, that's such a that strange courtesy. way to yeah. introduce someone. Yeah. Like, that's part of your life, but yeah. like, that doesn't identify you. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't feel like it defines who I am mm -hmm. at my core. And, that's, and maybe, that's, maybe that's part of the struggle, too. It's like, once you got them, there's no going back. Right. You know, you can't, you can't take it back to the store and say, you know, this... <laughs> I'd just, like to return this baby, please. This, this isn't going to work for me. It's not my size. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't go with my outfit. <laughs> Good job, Kelsey. Good job. I feel like more and more people are choosing not to have kids, but I can't help but feel like they're missing out. If any of my kids decided that they didn't want to have kids, I would probably do a lot of introspection and wonder if I had done anything to, to make them feel that way. I was kind of surprised that he was so, I guess, supportive of, of my choice. He didn't make any kind of remarks that I'm used to getting from people. Really nice to meet you. The things Kelsey said about climate change, <laughs> that is a concern to me. And I think there are things that I could do better to teach my own kids about that. I'm kind of sad that it's over. Like, I would sit and talk with him for much longer if, if you'd let me. <laughs>